In this video, I'm showing how to resolve an error message you might see in Windows 10 when you're working in the File Explorer and you have the preview pane open and you click on a .msg email file, you get this error message. If you just want this error message to go away and not pop up whenever you click on a .msg file, you can just turn the preview pane off and then you won't get it whenever you click on a .msg file. However, if you actually want to be able to successfully preview .msg files, there is a fix for that as well. Unfortunately, this error message isn't the most helpful. It kind of leads you to believe that the problem is caused by Microsoft Outlook not being set as the default mail client, when in reality, most people are already going to be using Outlook as their default mail client, and this issue is most likely caused by the version of Outlook they have installed. It is pretty quick and easy just to confirm that Outlook is set as the default mail client though, so I would recommend checking that first. To do that, you can just close out of the error message and then click on the Start button and go to Settings. The view that you have here might be different depending on the version of Windows 10 that you're using, but you'll want to look for Apps, go to Default Apps, and just make sure that Email is set to Outlook, and then you can close out of the settings. If you've confirmed that Outlook is set as your default email client, and you still get this error message whenever you open a .msg file, then the problem is most likely related to your Microsoft Office software being the 64-bit version. Microsoft's explanation of this problem is that the file previewer is a 32-bit application and apparently can't talk to the 64-bit version of Outlook. And the only fix that they offer for us is to uninstall the 64-bit version of Microsoft Office and download and install the 32-bit version instead. It's not a very complicated process, but it is a little bit time consuming. I'll go ahead and show a fast forwarded version of how to do that now. I'm just going to go ahead and close out of all my open windows here to get started. Uninstalling the 64-bit version of Office is pretty easy. You can start by just clicking on the Start button in the lower left and search for Control Panel. Click on Programs and Features. Then click on Microsoft 365 and click on Uninstall. Click on Uninstall one more time. Then it kind of goes on autopilot for a few minutes. I'll go ahead and fast forward through this part. Alright, so now that the uninstall is complete, I'm going to go ahead and close out of these open windows and then go out to the internet. The way that I have a license to Microsoft Office is through a Office 365 subscription. This is probably how most people are going to have a license, either through their job or school or if they pay for one on their own. To download the 64-bit version of Microsoft Office, I'm going to go to Outlook.com, then click on Sign In, and I'm going to sign in with my credentials here. Once you're signed into the Outlook web app, you can click on your initials in the top right and then click on My Account. Then click on Install Apps. Click on Other Options. Select your language. I'm going to use English. Choose a version. Click here. Then click Office 32-bit and click on Install. Once the installer is finished downloading, go ahead and click on that. And then once again, everything is going to kind of go on autopilot while the 32-bit version of Office installs. I'll go ahead and fast forward through this part as well. Alright, so now the install is finished, I'm going to go ahead and skip this part about mobile apps and close out of this window as well as the web browser. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my documents folder where I have the email files stored and I'm going to make this full screen here and if I click on view you can see that I still have the preview pane to show here. I'm going to expand this to make it a little bit easier to see. Now if I click on any of the .msg email files, you can see that the preview successfully loads on the side here, which confirms that installing the 32-bit version of Office resolved our issue with previewing email files. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video. Hit like if this helped you out, and thanks for watching.